What's up guys? It's your girl. <laughs> oh. What's up guys? It's your girl Hey Paris here and we're back at it again with another story time. Um I would just take my chances and hope that on this good Easter Sunday that the person I'm talking about in this video don't ever see this video because well I mean it's karma. So at the end of the day it's all good. It's all gravy and we not using her real name. So it's okay, okay? I know you guys hate when I apologize for not wearing makeup but I had to like explain myself really quick, okay? My eyebrows are not done and I refuse to do my eyebrows if my eyebrows aren't done. Therefore, there's no point in doing makeup. So that's why I'm plain face today, okay? Anyway, so boom, when I was younger, right? I had this friend, we're gonna call her Susie. Susie, okay? So Susie was low key like a bully, but like honest, I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I've said it before in middle school. It was like me and my friends were like the bullies of the school. I'm not proud of it. And that's why I say karma is real because bitch, as soon as I hit high school, I was the one being bullied. I was the victim. So therefore what goes around comes around and karma is real, okay? Not proud of it, but that's what it was. We were bullies in our school. We make fun of people, we tease people. It was not. It was it's not good okay so if you a bully right now in high school or whatever grade you in just know that the shit you do to people is gonna come right back to you and when it comes right back to you you're not gonna feel good about it so don't do it don't bully stop go find the person you were bullying and apologize to their ass because when it comes back to you oh boo let me tell you <laughs> so anyways we were like the bullies of our school or whatever so Susie was low-key like the leader of the bullies I guess I was like the co-leader I don't know how to explain it but Susie was the one who would always get us into some mess all the time okay Susie always got us in trouble if Susie did something by herself and she had to go to the office she would somehow bring me and all of our friends into the office too even though we were not there when it happened like Susie was the reason for all of our um, mischief in school, okay? So anyways, police always wanna come when I'm filming. The life of someone living in Scarborough. So along with like bullying kids and just being straight up rude and unnecessarily mean to people, I didn't notice this until now, okay? I didn't realize this until now, but Susie like directly targeted people who didn't look like her. Like anyone who was different in any type of way, Susie would target them. Which is kind of stupid because the school that I went to and the um, area that we lived in is super multicultural. But I never noticed that until now, until I really sat down and thought about it. But anyways, <laughs> I remember one day, okay? First of all, let me explain something to you guys, okay? Me and Susie, Probably just me and Susie from out of the group of people that I knew were like the only two kids who brought McDonald's and like um, Lunchables and you remember Chubbies, the little soda pop Chubbies. Like we were the only ones who didn't bring cooked food in for lunch. Like at the most, my mom would make me a sandwich once in a while, but I always used to beg my mom, please, 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 I don't want curry go and rice for lunch. I don't want chicken and rice for lunch. I don't want cooked food for lunch. And my mom never understood why, but I would literally be in tears like begging her not to put cooked food in my lunch bag for the next day. And it was because Susie and a bunch of my other friends who didn't bring cook food to lunch would make fun of everyone else who had like fried chicken and rice or any kind of meat and roti, like like anything that was ethnic, like they would ruin their day, okay? So, although I love me some curry chicken, I love me some fried uh, rice, I love me some fried chicken, I love me some oxtail, I love me all of that, some stew chicken, some fish, I love it all, okay? There was no way in hell as a child that I want, I didn't, I didn't want my friends to know that I ate like how these other normal kids eat. I eat what they eat for dinner. I didn't want them to know that, which is stupid, but I was a child, what could I say? I'm just being honest with you. So I used to beg my mom, please mom, I don't want cooked food. So my mom would either come in at lunch and drop off McDonald's to me or she'd give me Lunchables, you know, Lunchables with the 
cracker and cheese and a ham and you make it into a little sandwich, I'd have that for lunch. Sometimes she'd make me a sandwich. Just anything other than cook food, okay? Even though as soon as I went home, I went in that fridge, got leftovers and ate like nobody business. But Susie would literally go up to kids and be like, ew, what are you eating, rats? What is that, rat? Or is that rice and poo? Ew, that looks so disgusting. Ew, it stinks. Oh my gosh, your food stinks. Like she would just do the most, okay? And in situations like that, me and my other friends, we would giggle, but we weren't the ones saying anything because honestly, me and the rest of my friends, we ate the same shit and we just put it on the front because Susie, Mm-hmm. I, I didn't even realize this motherfucker was on, my bad. If you're wondering what's going on back here, I'm re, um, I'm re vamping my makeup room, so I'm sorry about the background, like, it's gonna be fixed soon, I promise. I'm just revamping the whole area. But anyways, Susie would be like, what are you eating, horse meat? Ew, it stinks. And me and my friends would be like, <laughs> Cause we know that's oxtail and we know it's popping. We know it tastes good, but we gonna act like we don't know what it is and we gonna act like it's nasty because Susie is the leader. Anyways, she used to just like go in on kids for eating their cultural foods. All right, so anyways, <laughs> and this is why I don't feel too bad about telling the story now. Y'all gotta keep listening. So we had a friend, right? This friend, we're gonna name her, we're gonna name her Tiny. Let's name her Tiny, okay? So we had this friend named Tiny. She didn't go to our school, but she was our friend because she lived in the area. So when we went to her party, we were like the only kids from our school there, which I didn't have a problem with. But then I realized that the rest of the kids here are Tiny's cousins, like her cousins, her family members, her family friends, stuff like that. Like we were only friends outside of her family at the party. So this was like a more traditional birthday party, I guess. Like Tiny's Bengali, she's from Bangladesh. So the food that Tiny's mom was serving was from their country. So the food that she was serving at her birthday party was traditional, okay? So there was roti, there was rice, there was chicken, there was curry meat, there's, there's bare food, okay? Bear food. Y'all know I don't like to eat from people. Y'all know I don't like to eat from people. Y'all know the stories. Y'all know I'm a germaphobe. And I've been this way since I was like a child, okay? I just always never ate from people. That's just who I am, okay? But out of respect, if someone invites me to their home and I know that they clean, okay? I knew that Tiny's mom was clean because Tiny was my girl. I used to go to her house all the time. Her house was always spotless. Um, I would drink out of cups, which I don't normally do. Like, I trusted her mom. I trusted her mom's cooking. I just trusted it. I just trusted it, okay? So, even though I trusted her mom, I didn't want to eat nothing because I still have that little germaphobe inside of me where I'm like, mm, everybody's playing in the food. Everyone has, no, nope, I'm good. But Tiny's mom it was like low-key my, my second mom. Like, she just loved me so much and I was like, I cannot make you feel any type of way. I'm gonna eat your food. So Tiny's mom asked, do you want to eat anything, Paris? I was like, yes. You want to eat anything, what do we call her, Susie? Susie's like, no, I don't want anything. No, thank you. Looking at me like, it's just so rude. Like her mom is standing right here. Her mom can see all the facial expressions you're doing, but okay, whatever tickles your fancy. So anyways, her mom shares me out some rice, some chicken, some roti, some like, like a dish of stuff, okay? I start eating that shit. That shit is delectable. The ball, okay? I don't know what y'all putting in your Bengali food, bitch, but that shit is popping, okay? Popping. The spices, the flavor, it was just so good. It was just so good. And the thing is, I try to go to restaurants and shit to try and get the same thing that her mom served me years later, and no nobody got it, nor do I know what it was called, but it was delicious. That's all I know, it was delicious. So, I was saving my burps and everything. I was saving my burps for later tonight. Okay, the food was fantastic, all right? So Susie now, Susie looking at me like, what is that? Oh my God, I can't believe you're eating that. Ugh. Bitch, I said, you damn right, bitch. It should pop me, what you mean? You want some? 
I offered her some. I'm like, just try it. Like, I know you're looking at it, and you might think it looks weird. Therefore, you might think it tastes weird, but it tastes really, really, really good. Just try some. I'm like, try some of the chicken, just a little bit of the chicken. I had to ask this bitch like 15 times before she agreed to try the chicken, okay? And the chicken was the best part. The chicken was so good. So, she took like the tiniest, like literally the smallest piece of chicken. You could probably hold it at the, at the tip of my, at the tip of my nail. Just a tip right here. That's how small a piece of chicken was. She put it in her mouth and like a dramatic child, spits everywhere as though you could even taste anything on that little tiny piece of chicken you just put in your mouth, ma'am. You can't taste shit. Why are you lying? What is the lying for? For what? For why? For how? For who? Why are you spitting all over these people's house? For a particle of chicken that you can't even see, bruh. You're doing the most. You're reaching. You're reaching. So she's doing the most, being dramatic. Everyone in the party's like looking at her like, is she okay? What happened? Her rude ass, she has no brought up seal. I don't know what her parents taught her in life, but you just don't do that. I don't know how she was raised, but you should not raise your child to be like that. Like the way she was going, the <laughs> doing all that, I was like, oh my God. So her mom came and her mom was like, are you okay, Susie? Is it is it too hot? Because there was a little bit of spice in it, not too much. So she's like, is it too hot? Susie's like, no, it's disgusting. I was like, you know what? I gotta bounce. I gotta go. Because I'm not going to be sitting around with your disrespectful ass. I'm not. Tiny's nice-ass mom says, oh, I'm sorry about that. Let me get you some water. I was like... My heart is broken because I know how nice this woman is and I'm pretty sure her feelings are hurt because the amount of food that's here, I'm pretty sure she, she, she spent all day and night cooking this shit for us and the guest in this bitch and your rude ass didn't even taste it but because of the way it looks, you want to act like it tastes nasty when I for one can contest. Is that the word? That's not the word. I for one can tell you that that shit was popping. The food was good. It was delectable. It was delicioso, ho. Is she a damn liar? Okay, now listen to this now, y'all. Whatever, the party's over, we ate. I ate the whole plate, all of it. Forgot the roti was there. Had a rice and a roti little snack on hand because there was no more meat left because that's how good it was. Everybody ate the shits. I. So anyway, listen to this, y'all. <laughs> Susie was never allowed to sleep over my house. She was never allowed because her parents didn't know my parents and her parents were low-key strict, which makes no sense to me because Susie was the biggest troublemaker in the school. But apparently her, her parents were really strict, so they needed to meet my parents before she could sleep over my house, okay? How old were we back here? I don't even remember. We were in grade school though, so grade six or under, okay? So anyways, Susie invites me to her house to have dinner. This is like months later. Susie invites me to her house to have dinner with her parents and my parents so that she could get permission to sleep over because her parents needed to meet my parents in order for them to feel comfortable with her sleeping over, apparently. Apparently. <laughs> apparently. Anyways, so Susie wanted to sleep over for my birthday, I think it was. It was some type of special occasion. I was having a sleep, a slumber party, okay? A sleepover party, whatever. My mom, my dad, her mom, her dad, my brother for some reason. I don't know why my brother had to be there, but my brother for some reason. And let me tell you how that went, okay? Walked up in that bitch, okay? Susie mom saying, oh, dinner's almost ready. So I'm sitting there like, I'm standing there like, what do you mean dinner's almost ready? When my mama cook, I can smell what she's cooking in the house. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can smell the chicken frying up or whatever. I can smell the meat marinating, bitch. I can smell the deliciousness in this house. You know what I'm I can smell it all, okay? Just by walking in the house, I know exactly what's for dinner. I can smell it. It smells delicious, okay? How dinner almost done and your house smell like dirty mop water? That's the only thing I'm smelling. Dirty mop water and a little bit of lemon for some reason? Like I smell like we in the janitor's closet at school. What you mean dinner almost done, Susie's mom? What, what are you talking about, ma'am? I think you need to check your schedule. Cause I don't think dinner even started yet. 
no, I don't. And I think my mom kind of was confused as well because my mama said, oh, really, what's for dinner? Susie mom talking about it's a surprise. It's a surprise, bitch. Oh, I'm gonna be a su surprised, all right, bitch, because I don't smell nothing cooking up. We have an air pot for dinner. Like, what's really going on? Anyway, so, <clears throat> Susie's dad is in the backyard, right? And he, he at the grill. So I'm like, oh, okay, that's why the house don't smell like food, because y'all grilling something, like, you gonna get steak or some shit, you know what I mean? And like you guys know, I don't like eating at nobody's house, but shit, if it's barbecue, I eat it. <laughs> what you mean? I stay at barbecues. I eat a burger. I eat some steak or some chicken, as long as it's not made in a pot. I don't have a problem with it. That's what barbecues are for. So I'm like, oh, I right. it's a barbecue. Even better, like I'm good because my mom was gonna force me to eat the food. So I'm like, you know what? It's barbecue, I'm good. I like me some barbecue sauce. Everyone's just talking for a bit. They're getting to know each other. My mom and dad are getting to know her mom and her dad's out there barbecuing or whatever. And then her mom gets up and is like, oh, we can all sit at the table now. The food is ready. I'm like, all right. <laughs> homeboy. And when I say homeboy, I mean Susie's dad opens up the the backyard door the sliding door or whatever he come through and like a little bit of the smoke coming in so i'm trying to get a whiff like mm, is it chicken mm, is it is it meat mm, is it barbie like what is it you know what i'm trying to get trying to get a whiff i got a whiff of nothing it was a whiff of like smoke just smoke i mean bitch when you barbecue in the whole neighborhood smell good so what you mean I don't, I'm only smelling smoke? What's the, like, why are you guys sure that there's something on the grill? That is my, my main concern right now. I'm not smelling no food. I don't smell food anywhere. What's going on, Susie? Susie boo, what's going, talk to your parents, girl. So her pops comes out, gets two plates and comes, goes back outside in the backyard and he comes back out again. And he puts two plates down, all right, like, Oh my gosh. <laughs> Every time I tell my mom this shit, she dies laughing because it was the stupidest situation of a life. So anyways, he comes out. He puts two plates down. One plate is red, yellow, and green peppers that are charred. That's it. Not even salt on them bitches, okay? Just charred peppers. Period. That ends of the sentence. That's it. And that's not too out of the ordinary. You know, I see people charring peppers every now and then, like I've seen it before. So I wasn't like, what's going on? But the second plate he bringing out now, now I'm confused. Now I'm confused. Homeboy brought a plate of grilled cabbage? Bitch, where they do that at? Where do they do that at? Y'all out here grilling cabbage? Y'all bought a whole barbecue kit to, to barbecue cabbage? I'm disappointed. I'm ashamed. I'm confused. I'm appalled, okay? Y'all out here grilling cabbage. That's not even the worst part. It's not even the worst part. So me and my family, we all looking at each other like... Can we, can we, should we get up and leave? Then I remember thinking to myself, maybe this is to go with the delicious meal that is coming after. Maybe like the cabbage, like you could put like chicken and rice in there, mix it up like a little burrito bowl, like from Chipotle or some shit. You know, like maybe put the peppers on top, bitch, delicious. Of, of course, like the, the cabbage must be an edible plate. You know, it's like something, it, it gotta make sense. It has to. Ugh. Then her mother, this mother, then her mother says the main course is coming or whatever the hell she said. I don't know. She basically announced that the main course is, is almost ready or it's coming. Okay. This bitch, I'm sorry. I don't even need to call nobody mama bitch. I'm sorry. This woman, this lady, this wonderful woman, she comes to the table. Y'all listening? With a silver pot with a wooden spoon in it, that's it. So now I'm scared to look inside because I'm looking at my mom and my dad looking at each other and I'm like, do I wanna know what's about to happen? Do I wanna know what I'm gonna have to force down my stomach? Huh? I, I, 
stand up, because I was really short back then. I'll stand up to go look inside a pot, bitch. <clears throat> this woman made craft macaroni and cheese with hot dog, but that's that's not the worst part. First of all, bitch, you can't invite nobody to your house and you serving mac and cheese and hot dogs. You can't do that. But on top of that, you serving mac and cheese and hot dogs and grilled cabbage and grilled peppers. And on top of that, the mac and cheese is swimming in cheese water. This ain't no regular mac and cheese where you, you take the spoon and you mix it around and it sounds like some good good. It's not the type of mac and cheese. You try to mix this mac and cheese around, it sounds like a, a, a wave, an ocean, bitch. A pool of orange water, macaroni, and barely cooked hot dog in this home. We gotta go. My mom is the type of woman who cannot, she can't, and I hate this about her too, you know. She cannot, if something is disgusting, if something is nasty in any type of way, or she's disgusted by someone's behavior, You'll see it on her face. Like if someone coughs in public and they don't cover her mouth, if you're Jamaican, you know your mama do this too. Your mother do it too. If you Jamaican, your mother do it too. If someone coughs in public, my mom will literally go disgusting in front of them. Okay? But seeing how this is an a, a closed environment and we're being welcome, welcomed into these people's houses, she's not gonna say nothing, but I see it on her face. My mama looking at looking at the pot like. So Susie mom comes and starts sharing out the food. I hate doing these type of story times because it's disgusting and I feel like I'm gonna vomit. So mind you, I still can't I still can't smell no food. I couldn't even smell the hot dogs in that bitch. So Susie mom takes a spoon and she's serving out the mac and cheese. Okay? I don't know how she makes a mac and cheese, but I don't know why the mac and cheese is swimming in orange water that is oily. You can see the oil droplets in the water. And she putting it on our plates. Mind you, it's not a bowl. It's a it's a plate, a flat plate. So when she when she put the, the mac and cheese down, it goes splat on my chest. So I drip it down. I said no. I said no. I'm like trying to telepathically talk to my mama. Like, let we go. Please, can we leave? And the hot dog, it looked like this is what this is what the mac and cheese looked like. It looked as if she put the mac and cheese in and then she put way too much water. Way too much. This was mac and cheese soup, bitch. Mac and cheese soup. Way too much water. Then for some reason she decided to put olive oil on top of the water. And then she put the cheese mix inside. Like it was disgusting. The craziest thing was there was so much water that the orange, you know when you open up the mac and cheese packet and you put it in the, in the mac and cheese, the orangeness of it didn't touch the macaroni. So the macaroni was still white, but it was with orange water and barely cooked hot dogs. Y'all, so it was like she put the mac and cheese in, she put way too much water, for some reason put olive oil on top, and then cut up raw hot dogs and thought that that was all gonna cook up real good. Then she had the nerve to take the grilled cabbage, put it beside the mac and cheese in all of our plates. Mind you, she's serving all of us. Beside the mac and cheese, okay? And then take the, th the th I was about to say thongs. Take the tongs and put like three peppers on top of, of the cabbage. And I said, no, something's wrong here. Huh? And just like that, an angel stood up. <laughs> An angel stood up just there and there. Mind you, I forgot to add. Hold up. She gave us water in dirty cups. The cups were dirty. They were nasty, dirty cups, bro. I was like, I'm, I'm not like, my mom gonna think I'm rude, but I'm not eating, nor am I drinking anything in this bitch. It's not happening. But uh, as soon as she finished serving the food to us, an angel rose. An angel rose. Okay, and that angel, ha <laughs> ha, that angel, I call that angel mom, okay? I call that angel mommy, my mother, 
My mother stood up and said, Oh my God, the smoke outside just reminded me I have the pot on the fire. Oh, we have to go, we have to go. I forgot to turn the, the fire off of the pot. Whatever the hell she said, okay? And by the grace of God, nobody asked no questions. Because my first question as a person hosting this dinner would be, why are you making something to eat if you knew you was coming here to eat dinner? Why the stove on? Why you leave the stove on if you knew you would come to dinner at someone else's house? But then nobody asked that. But my mother also kept it nice. She After she said that, she said, is there any way we could take the food to go? Because they have or they already talked like while the food was still being made. My mom and her mom and my dad all were talking about like who they are, like introducing each other so that they could know each other and stuff like that. Like they already spoke about that. So now it was just dinner time. So my mom was like, is there any way we could take the food to go, please? And Susie's mom was like, yeah, no problem. I'll, I'll go grab some Ziploc bags. Did you hear me? I'll go grab some Ziploc bags for macaroni soup, cabbage, and peppers. When I saw that bitch in that bag, I legit almost threw up. I made the throw up sound and then I tried to cough it off because I didn't want to be rude. I said, <coughs> <coughs> sorry. That shit was disgusting. Mind you, while all this is happening, Little Susie's little judgmental ass is out here gobbling up the mac and cheese water, the raw hot dogs, and the cabbage and peppers. She eating it. She eating it. Now we all leave with our Ziploc bag of macaroni soup, cabbage, and, and peppers, and we couldn't throw that shit out in our house. No, bitch. We drove over to some random building and threw it over the dumpster right there and then. I was out here feeling sorry for the seagulls who might have thought they had some kind of little snack to, to grub on. Nope. Eh. <laughs> They're gonna peck at that bag and it's gonna explode in their face with macaroni water. It was disgusting, okay? And the moral of the story is, don't be judging nobody when your mama can't cook, bitch. Don't be judging nobody else's mama's cooking that you didn't even taste. And your mama out here cooking you macaroni soup and hot dogs, bitch, for dinner, bitch. And normally when somebody comes over for dinner, your mother usually cooks the best thing she could cook. So you telling me your mom could, the best thing your mama could cook is macaroni, macaroni water? Oh, what a shame. Moral of the story, know yourself, period. Anyways, guys, make sure you leave a comment down below and let me know if anything like this has ever happened to you before. Make sure you follow me on Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram. All that jazz in the description box down below for your convenience. Thank you so much for watching. Love you guys so much. Don't gotta tell you twice. And I'll see you on the flip side. Know yourself. Know yourself. You better know.